You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Fix Bayonets. We are now entering overdrive with your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting live from the front lines. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Let's move quick. I've been babbling. Ralph in Arizona, thanks for calling. You're on the air. Hello? Yes, welcome. Uh, well, hello. It's my honor to uh, meet you. I, I have the highest regard for the work you do. Well, thanks for putting up with me, brother. Well, I, what I, I respect your scholarship. I respect the fact that you vet your sources and you cite and reference everything. And um, this this is important to me. Um, uh, there's a lot that I'm gonna, not going to say, but uh, you have uh, asked, what is my line in the sand? Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. My line in this, I basically, okay. My line in the sand is basic lawlessness. Uh, when you have uh, lawlessness of government, corporations, and individuals, that breaks down the foundation for civil society to function. Uh, for that reason, I don't think you're looking at a revolutionary situation. It's more what you'd call historically a, a, a reaction. And as you know, Robert Browning said, we live in visions of Rome. Um, in the late Roman Empire, there were a series of, uh, of uh, pretenders who actually didn't possess the... the uh, uh, legitimate uh, rights to citizenship who came in and, and occupied the consulate. And uh, then you, from that, you that led to a series of reactions. Uh, and the reestablishment of order, uh, in those cases, the reaction was kind of short-lived, but uh, hopefully not. Um, no, you're uh, right. I mean, we could have just reactions that restabilize things. But the globalists are trying to create anarchy so they can bring in more control as the answer. I think that's really what's happening. Yeah, that, that's right. And we must not let them. Uh, that, that's absolutely the situation. Uh, the other line in the sand, and this is a little bit more exotic, is uh, pr Southeast German Prussian Krapelinian psychiatry. Uh, I uh, Most people don't know that, you know, psychiatry in the case of Stalin and Hitler, uh, it's, it's always been the handmaiden of tyranny. Are you still with me? I'm listening to you, absolutely. Uh, and I'm just seeing a new headline. Police blame the man killed by a hammer for his own murder, saying he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. How sick uh, that, uh, again, they are uh, covering up what really happened. This is just incredible. Sorry, go ahead. Very interesting points. You're right. And a lot of the German psychology that came out um, in the last 200 years also is a big part uh, of this modern tyranny we're under. Uh, uh, what was that uh, last word? The, what kind of psychology? A lot of the psychology that came out of Germany in the last 200 years is is has been adopted as forms of oppression. Yeah, Emil Kraplan. People don't realize this. In the 60s, from Gidget uh, series, you know, it's kind of Miley Cyrus. They did the same thing. You know, they start out with a sweet, innocent young girl. And then they turn her into, turn them into whatever, you know, uh, Hitler's uh, ministry of, uh, Goebbels' ministry of enlightenment came to the United States in Operation Paperclip. And, uh, you know what you're talking about, Ralph. You got a promise to call back. I wish people like Ralph would have a YouTube channel. Because, I mean, what he's talking about is really accurate. And then we got to cut him off. I promise. Or CJ can punch me in the nose. 
He doesn't want to, though. I'm going to take a bunch of calls tomorrow. We did okay today. Good show overall. But tomorrow, I'm taking a bunch of your calls. I'm out of time. The knowledge of the... When, when you're out on the road, the last...